I'm going to show you something brand new and exciting now. This is the Art Bar. Brand new product for us. It's water soluble wax bars. So not only have you got the beautiful smooth waxy pigments, soft and absolutely stunning to use, they're also water soluble, which means when we add water, the wax practically melts before your eyes and you get a beautiful paint effect, which you can either water down and create a nice wash, or you can keep really thick and opaque, a huge variety of different marks and textures we can make with this product. So I'm gonna show you what we can do with it. When we get into the art bar tin, you'll see something looks completely different to any other donut product. As you can see, there's a variety of colours in there, but they're arranged in a totally different way. And the colour range itself has been totally designed for this product. It's not in any of the other donut ranges. We've broken up the colour range into four sections. And within each tin, you get the different sections for each different type of colour. First off here, we've got the brights. They're always the first ones you find in the pack. Bright, vibrant colours. The second set of colours here on the right are the pale colours. Quite a few of them relate to the bright colours, except they're a paler version. It's all about getting the right tone for your drawing. The next layer down, we've then got the earth tones, which are real beautiful natural tones, and the dark tones, which also include the mixing colours, whites and greys there as well. OK, so the first thing I'm going to look at is all the different marks that you can make with Art Bar. I'm just peeling off a little bit of the wrapper here so I can snap a small piece off. It's much easier to work with a piece snapped off. And you'll notice these bars are all triangular shaped. That means we've got extra edges and sides that we can draw with. So instead of having a circular item, we've got the same shape all the way around. With this, we can draw with each edge and side. Got very fine edges there, a nice fat side for putting in larger areas, and of course, the tips on each corner as well. So the important thing to do when you get a new product, get your hands on a new product, is just have a play around. Let's start off with trying out some different marks that we can make. So we've got very fine lines we can make just gradually moving the line along the very fine edge. We can make thicker ed thicker marks by using the edge. We can put it down flat, start to build up colour. We can even twist it and create some almost bow type shapes. And of course, you can pick it up and use it how you would any other drawing medium, just scribbling away from the end. So the next thing to do, let's start bringing in some other colours as well. I'm going to put a little bit of the red down, start to build up the intensity here. I'm using a very smooth paper. It's hot pressed water colour paper. Uh, with a beautiful smooth finish, which really brings out the best in Art Bar. I'm just going to take a small piece of another colour as well. Let's start blending them together. We can get some really beautiful, thick, opaque colours together here. They just begin to blend in together. What we can also do is warm up your fingers and start to blend the colours with a warm finger. In fact, if you blow warm air onto it, it makes it a bit more malleable as well. There we go. So it's all about really working layers on top of each other to get desired colour and tone and intensity that you'd like. Now then, 
I'm going to put a little bit more colour down here. And then let's have a try with something else. This is all the keeping everything dry at the moment. Let's take a darker colour, snap a bit off that one. I'm just going to go over the top with this really beautiful dark blue. Right, here is the scraper. One of the accessories we've brought out. And the purpose of this is to allow you to scrape into the layers that you're building up in the art bar. Various different sides here, different shapes and things. And we just literally scrape into the wax. I'll turn that around. Just peel back and get some beautiful marks and colours going on there. So all sorts of things we can do with that. You'll see also, note here, all these bits that we're scraping off. Keep hold of those because we can use them to kind of push them onto the paper to add a bit of texture. Okay, now if you want to start adding a bit of water, so I'm just going to lay down some colour here. I might layer up some of that lovely magenta colour. I'm going to take my paintbrush. And I'm just going to show you the difference here between a light area of paint. So we can really brush into that and create a nice wash that we can drag out. Picked a bit of yellow as well. A nice wash that we can drag out creating a very pale, translucent wash. Or we can work into the thicker areas where you really start to create a very different type of paint. Beautiful, thick, stunningly opaque colour. So imagine if you start layering up colours like this. You can go over the top with other colours when it's dry or, in fact, when it's wet. If I take, for instance, one of the other bars, you can start pushing the colour around whilst it's still wet slightly. It works particularly well with lighter colours, that, for some reason. OK, so staying on the wet side of things, I'm just going to draw some lovely, intense lines here. Then I'm going to take one of our new accessories, the spritzer, and I'm going to use this to spray water directly over what I've just drawn. I can either spray from above, quite a fine mist will come out, and land, and that will just dampen up the page, which means I can take the brush to it and start painting. Or I can actually use the spritzer itself to start pushing pigment around the page. So I'm going to do the latter of those two, and I'm going to start spraying pretty close to the page itself. And you'll see instantaneously how the pigments really start to disperse, spread out into this, the mist that you sprayed down. Of course, the closer you get in, the more you can make things move about. That gives us yet another way of working with art bar. Great little accessory that I think is going to provide some beautiful results. Whilst we're talking about the accessories, I'll just show you this little one here. The Shave and Save. Very close relative of the Great and Shake. But it's designed specially to be used with the art bar. You'll see a triangular hole in the centre there. This is to shape your art bar if you perhaps want it a little bit finer at the edges. You're just dragging the bar over the edge there. And I'll just twist it round. And we're getting a nice fine point there on the edge of the bar. This allows you to reform a nice fine edged triangle. So we can work that down and get a really nice 
fine edge again and then put it to work on the paper. There we go, lovely fine line. But that's not all. You'll notice the shavings are all dropping into the canister below. There they all are in the bottom. This is the other special part about the shave and save. What we can either do with these is just keep them for later, tip them out and work them in on top of what we've been doing already. Perhaps even give them a little spray and just work them into the painting, creating some lovely texture there. Or we can actually make a bit of paint by adding some water. Okay, so I'm just going to take the lid off, take my paintbrush, and start dropping some water. We don't need too much. It's not it's uh, more about getting this paint we've got here wet. We start to get a very thick bodied paint here that we can use on top. Beautiful. Okay. The other thing, of course, that we can do with the art bars is paint directly from them. So I can collect water here and paint from it. Or I can start splatting off the end of the bar. Whilst we've got a wet bar in my hand, I'm actually going to use that for another little technique of printing directly from the bar itself. See how we can get a really totally different texture here and as it dries out you get different textures again and again and again. And just imagine adding that on top of your painting, just just that, just creating different textures. That's what art bar is all about. <laughs>